Are you addicted to the hustle? Are you obsessed with getting as many women that you can sleep with as possible? Hi there, my name's Tim and I'm from LO and I want to talk today about scarcity and addiction when chasing your dreams. Hey there, I'm just out walking uh, in the morning. It's about seven in the morning here. I'm just walking along the beach. And I wanted to talk today about something that I can see is really on people's minds at the moment. And that is uh, whenever I talk to men, whenever I coach them, they're always telling me that they haven't met a girl yet, they haven't met a woman yet because they're spending all of their time working and they just don't have any time left to meet women and because they're working so much they're exhausted and so they're just going home and playing video games, they're not going out, they're not socializing and they're telling me that they can't get a girlfriend because they need to be rich, they need to have a car, they need to have a house all of that stuff that society tells you to do and as somebody who hasn't followed that path um, it's kind of surprising in some sense but also not surprising because you know everybody's telling you that's what you need to do you know if you read anything online they're saying you have to be super attractive you have to have crazy amounts of wealth one of the two otherwise forget it it's not happening for you and I found that that's just not true, right? If you have some social ability, if you can go out, if you put in the effort, if you put in some time to meet women, then it's going to, it's going to work out, right? And it's quite dark, actually, when you really inspect how people are living their lives. Um, you know, if you're literally spending your life working, what are you doing that for? right? Are you doing it for security or are you doing it to get something? And if it's security, how much security is enough security? How much money do you need to be secure, right? Uh, especially with the economy the way it is right now, having even having that money, does it actually give you security? And how much of your life are you willing to sacrifice? How much time are you willing to give up before you try and get that girl? Before you try and meet the woman that you're going to spend time with, right? And I see another attitude that comes along with this, right? This need for success. And that is constantly going out saying, okay, I'm going to date like crazy, right? I'm going to have sex with as many women as possible. And I see so many men chasing this, right? Their needs, that, that deep yearning, that feeling that they've missed out, right? And they need to catch up. They need to catch up by dating as many women as possible because otherwise it's going to be too late. But you know what? It's never too late. It's never too late to go out and meet somebody, right? It's never too late to have great, wonderful experiences with women. And if you bring that to the fore of your mind, if you chase lay counts, if you try and sleep with as many women as possible, what's happening there is you end up not really having good connections with women. And I see this over and over and over and over with the men that I, that I you know, I've, I've been doing this for, 20 years now and every man that I meet that chases this they they have this bravado they're trying to show off look how great I am look how many women that I can get right but then behind closed doors they come to me and they're asking me questions like how do I keep the woman how do I stop her from disappearing after a month because they don't know how to do that right they only know how to have sex with women but they don't tell you that, right? Because they're too busy showing off. And of course, you know, I tell them what I think that they should do and they dismiss it because they don't believe it's possible, right? They don't believe what's possible because they're obsessed with that scarcity, obsessed with that grind. You know what it, you know what it reminds me of? It, it's like, it's like somebody who wants to get a job, right? 
you want to get a job and you become really good at job interviews. You become the best person in the world at job interviews, right? And you go into the interview, you do the, do the interview and they love you and they're like, oh my God, you're perfect for this. We want to hire you right away. And they give you the job and then you tell everybody, look, I've got this job. And everyone's like, wow, you're really great. And then you start the job. First day, you hand in your notice. You're like, I don't want this job, right? I'm leaving in a month because I need to go find another job, right? So that I can prove to everybody how great I am at getting jobs, you know? If you make it like that and compare that to the idea of chasing women, try to sleep with a woman and then you drop her and you try and find another one just to prove to everybody how great you are at getting women, right? Okay, but all of the benefit is when you actually get into that relationship, right? All of the benefit is when you actually work in the job and then you get the money, okay? So if you're looking for a girlfriend right now and you're seeing these men who are doing this, don't worry. That's the message here. Don't worry, okay? You just keep doing what you're doing. Don't feel that you need to compare yourself to these men that are chasing lake outs, obsessing over it. Chasing money as well. You don't need to do that. What you need to do is put yourself in front of women. Spend time with women, okay? And all of this stuff, all of this work that you're doing to acquire resources, everything like that, have a think about it. Do you really need it? You know, I can pretty much guarantee that if you're watching this and you have a full-time job, you're probably earning more than I am, right? But look where I am. Look where I am, here. I'm on a beach. I'm on a beach. It's Easter morning. I mean, is it the best beach in the world? I don't know. But does it feel good to be here? Absolutely, right? And all that it took for me to get here was to have a little bit of different thought, a little bit of different decisions about what I wanted in my life, instead of chasing dreams. Dreams that other people have made for you, right? Dreams that other people have decided that you need this, and you have just chosen that because you didn't know what else to do. I see a lot of men, they're just ticking boxes in their life. You know, I remember meeting one guy and, I, and he was like a pickup guy. And I asked him, I said, why do you want to go out and meet lots of women? And what's your dream? And he said, my dream is I want to be on a yacht with loads of women around me in bikinis. And, I like, and I'm like, okay, but why? And he goes, I don't know. I just want to prove that I can do it. And that's okay, but you know, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And more importantly, what sacrifice are you willing to make in order to have what you want? You know, I've got a family member right now. He spent his whole life working, working in office, chasing the money, chasing the dreams and you know where he is right now right now he's lying in bed and he can't move he's he's sort of paralyzed he's got he can't breathe properly because he spent all of his time sitting at his computer at work like this looking down and it's caused a problem in his spine right he's literally fucked his health because he, he chose that right and he spends all of his time now lying on his back he can't move what do you think he's thinking about? He's thinking about the choices he's made, right? Now, you're not in his position. You don't have to get there. What choices are you going to make in your life? You know? What choices are you going to make about how you want to live? Are you going to wait till you have untold riches before you go out and meet that girl? Or are you going to do it now, right? Don't wait. That's my message here. Don't wait. And if you want help with this, then I operate a men's group. Uh, I'll put links in the description where you can find out more information like, about that. 
And I also have a course where I teach you literally everything I've learned, my process of how to get a girlfriend. And you know, I don't go out all of the time trying to meet women. I see a lot of men doing that. They're like, oh, you need to make this your lifestyle. No, you don't. You don't need to do that, right? If I want a girlfriend, I go out, I try and meet women, and then when I've met someone that I like, then I don't go out anymore. I have better things to do, right? I don't need to make that my identity because life is too short to waste your time chasing lay counts, chasing sex with loads of women so that you can show off. You don't need to do it. Live the life that you want to live. Learn to have what you want. Learn to be happy with yourself. And I teach that in my course, How to Get a Girlfriend, 60 Days or Less. And it's everything I know. Everything I know I'm going to give to you so that you don't have to waste your time trying to learn information from all over the place on the internet, trying to study from men who are telling you you need to spend all of your time on this. You don't. You don't. Okay, that's enough. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you food for thought. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and comment below on, my, on your thoughts on this. I would love to hear what you think. Okay, this is Tim signing out from the beach. See you later.